Every ball I make will increase that value. So the multiplier can pay off quite a bit. You want to avoid, if possible, to earn to get house balls in this situation because house balls just deprive you of that opportunity to make the multipliers. Okay, that was a little uh, a little lucky there. I probably pushed the machine more than I needed to to get it out of that right out lane. Um, games in this era tend to not to have rubber on the posts between the in lanes and out lanes, which means if you want to save a ball, you have to save it by pushing it off the sidewall and back in. And uh, that's what you saw there. I'm going to aim for the 3x because, again, that's worth, um, I think now, 70,000. It's worth more than any other shot in the game. So shot efficiency is something to think about in pinball. Make the shots that are worth most points. Um, it's pretty obvious, really. But if you think about what shots are actually worth when you shoot them, you know, you'll tend to find yourself making better decisions. So at the same time, I'm also trying to get control again. Let's make the 4x. Multipliers. It's kind of neat in... Uh, 8 Bowl Deluxe, the multiplier shots actually get more difficult as you go because they're further along. Like that shot would have made a 2x fine, but for the 5x it's no good. And I lost. Please don't tilt when you get going on this game because the, the bonus is huge. That was um, a 300,000 bonus there. And um, if I had tilted out, I would have lost that opportunity. So again, ball 3, I'm going to go for the multipliers first. The multipliers are worth uh, 84,000 each, plus whatever balls I make. And there's a case that's going to fly right back at you. You have to be ready, both flippers down, and anticipate where that ball is going to go so that you can make a stop or a save if necessary. Uh, from the left flipper, completing balls is less of a priority on ball three than the multipliers. So I'm actually going to try to make a multiplier reverse shot here or pop it over so I can make that shot from the right. And by tilting, I just bricked out almost 300,000 points. So a game that would have been over a million turned into a little under 800,000. Uh, just something to watch out for because in competition play, if you're qualifying on 8-Ball Lux, those points really matter. You do not want to tilt this game. Uh, it's going to be costly. So let's play it one more time. All right, one final game of 8-Ball Lux. We'll try and make it a good one. Eight ball definitely a game which can be frustrating in its difficulty and the fact that you can play it great one day and or one game and the next game you're just at the mercy of the machine. Completing the rack of balls is really important at the beginning of the game. So if you can make all seven balls and then the eight ball on ball one, you're in a really strong position. Now this is an interesting situation because it's, I need to make the six and seven ball over here, which means I need the ball in the left flipper. A post transfer is a decent choice. And uh, usually a multiple attempt post transfer. And, oh my, that was very good. That's, um, that's what happens when you try a post transfer and uh, it botches miserably. So don't do that. Um, let's see if we can turn that game, turn this into a decent game despite the horribleness of that uh, mistake. Uh, that was a nice little play there. And then another one to follow it up. So, eight balls completed. And since we're doing stupid stuff right now, let's uh, let's do some other stupid things like try to backhand every shot in the game. So we already backhanded the eight ball, we backhanded some pool balls. Let's see about backhanding it up the uh, up the lane or into the, the multipliers. There's a rather good use of the uh, upper flipper. Um, I'm going to try to make a multiplier here. And then we'll see if we can get the ball to the left and backhand another one. Backhand another one. And ideally backhand the 5x too. This is a very exciting video, I'm sure. Well, it's turned out to a post transfer, but oh well. Sorry. Get in there. Boom! All right, big points off of that bonus collect. So after the first ball horrible this, uh, maybe uh, we'll actually turn this into a decent game. The uh, 5x shot is a good choice here, but another good choice since I was able to get the bonus collection is to go back for that bonus collection. Let me get the 5x cast in. 
or attempt to. Ah. Poor drain there. Okay ball, not a great ball. Uh, and I have some opportunity here to pull a decent game out of the out of the ashes of that horrible ball one. Seven ball, three more balls to go. And there's a case where, yes, do I want to go down the in lane or the out lane? The answer is no. Uh, you want it out of that area completely. Three balls to go. Balls are less of a priority than multipliers here. But um, let's finish this rack of balls anyway. And certainly multipliers are much more of a priority than any individual pool ball. Because the multiplier is worth about a hundred thousands. Um, so a multiplier. Ideally another multiplier. Backhanded maybe. Let's just make the four ball. Get the four X. Get the eight ball. Get the five X. Ooh. Get the five X. Good, good bounce out there. And give me that bonus collect, please, man. Ah. But you're going to see a good final score out of this, maybe 1.4 or 1.3 or something. All right. I'll take it. It's uh, it's not the greatest game of 8-Ball Lux you'll ever see, but it's pretty decent considering how bad the first ball went. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this uh, tour of 8-Ball Deluxe. Fun game if you get a chance to play it. It's obviously really tough to find it on location, but you'll find it here at Papa. Hope to see you there and keep playing pinball. Bye-bye.